Chef Maniardi. <laughs> Belly. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just sing the song. <laughs> <laughs> live, live, live. Yardy Belly is alive. Live in the kitchen and live with That's the cooking. Live, live, live. Yardy Belly is alive. Yardy Belly TV live. Hey. Cooking, cooking, cooking. I love it. Yanni Bell is cooking, cooking in the morning, he's cooking up the eatings, cooking, cooking, cooking. Yanni Bell is cooking, Yanni Bell is TV, cooking, cooking, cooking. Well, sharing now, may I share now? Good morning. Good morning to you, and how are you, Troy? You are the first one on this morning. We need to start giveaway prizes for the first person on. <laughs> Don't ask me how you're gonna get it. Yeah, but Ben Charles, it's been a while, eh? Mm -hmm. We haven't seen Ben Charles in a while. Good morning to you, sir. Carmen Collins, good morning. Texas in the house. Dallas is in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. It has, for real. For real, for real. Hope everything is good with you. And you, and you, and all of us. Yes. If you are on this live this morning, check in and let us know where you are. Mm -hmm. logging in for ram so we can give you your due shout out of course yeah big up your city big up your, your town, town big up your state and big up your country from. check it in from really get fit and done little more sim catch me now <laughs> big, big um checking in from paris france <laughs> i'm not gonna sing because you're not you're lying <laughs> i'm oh. in paris if he's in paris so tell him you're in paris my brother <laughs> uh, it's, uh, we have somebody from St. Kitts and Nevis. St. Kitts is in the house. Nevis in the house. Hey, baby, 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 come on. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. I wonder who named Nevis. <laughs> so you know? you know, I wonder who St. Kitts. No, because it just, it just sounds funny. You know? Yeah, where did, where did the name come from? Your country's name? How did they come about that name? Nevis. First of all. That sounds like, like, like somebody from, you know, Jamaican country. Mm -hmm. They can go by there and say, I now call this place Nevis. <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody. Compass. Bronx is in the house. New York in the house. From hey. Wellington. Wellington in Florida. Wellington, isn't that like up north of this side? Not up north. It's 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 more south than us right now. Over oh, really? If it's Florida, if it's Wellington in Florida, mm. it is south of us. By way of Haiti. Okay. Good morning to you, Carlene. Sac passé. Nambule. <laughs> Nambule or Nambule? Nam, 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 oh, nam. Nambule. Big up yourself. I want to say good morning once again. I'm trying to prepare the, the ingredients before I show you actually what I'm doing. Why well, I'm cooking something similar for lunch and dinner. Pan fried lemon honey trout with rasta vegetable pasta in coconut milk butter sauce. Why well, try some extra? <laughs> try. You. Try. Your, your dish, <laughs> the names of your dish be just extra, bro. <laughs> Kashai a, a chef. Mm, lemon water sauce with a cherry with on the top. Fry and cherry on the top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, sir. Ben Charles, big up yourself. Big up yourself. So, guys, guys, tell them what kind of movie. She said Map Boule. Oh, it's Map. 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 Boule. Oh. <laughs> He's like Nam Boule all these years. I'm so sorry, Carly. <laughs> Map Boule. I'm Jamaican. I don't know nothing. I, I'm mm -hmm. so sorry. All these years I've been saying Nambule. Stacey Ann Williams Smith, big up yourself. Jamaica Summit. in the house. Stacey Ann Smith. Kingston in the house. Hey, <laughs> come on now. My inner owner, what? 
I'm not in that one because I can't get none. <laughs> wow. And, wow. And guess what? I got a nice today, no, Stacey. This channel is all about inspiration, Stacey. So if you can't get oars, get inspired and make. Make Patrick make it. No, make Patrick make it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Still, I wait for the swims. <laughs> <laughs> Why the swims them swimwear? So guys, let me get into it because what happened is we, well, I was telling you to tell them the type of mood that we're in in terms of food. Oh. You know, don't want our rice and, mm -hmm. and all these things. So guys, let me give you a background. So yesterday we went to an Asian, no, Chinese supermarket and Yardy Belly has a video coming out on that soon. So look out for that one. You know, you the people them seven of a video them sitting Oh, well, if you, okay, tell you what, go to my channel, Natural Hair Dynamics, and you'll see footages, because <laughs> I'm not afraid of nobody. <laughs> so, me video it, and it's on my channel, and I did a haul of all that we bought. So, anyway, we bought a lot of veggies because we want to ease off of the carbs for a bit. Mm-hmm. So, yesterday we had veggies and then today we're doing you know a nice collaboration of veggies again we have chinese cabbage we have bok, baby bok choy because we don't really like the adult bok choy <laughs> yeah and what do you say your bok choy pedophile <laughs> <laughs> wow 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 we don't like the adult bok choy <laughs> We don't like the great zone, back shot. Vincent, like what Vincent, say, Vincent <laughs> says, um, Vincent says, what time is it in your country? It is now 10, 20. In our well, it depends from the well, country well, in our In our country, Jamaica, which we're not in our country. <laughs> we're in the white people in the country. <laughs> and then even in the country, there's not one time. Right. The time right, some right. people the are time three zone. hours behind, some people are an hour ahead. So it all depends on your time zone. <laughs> but we are here. Mm -hmm. Um, Michael Smith, good morning to you. Seasons greetings. Pick up yourself. I'll have to watch what you have on today's menu. <laughs> so guys, as we said, we were going very simple, very very simple this morning. And you wanna you wanna pan over a little bit now? <laughs> you can't do it, try now. But baby back try. <laughs> <laughs> it's baby back try, try, not try, try. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is a peek as to what is going on in the prep zone. Because mm -hmm. we have the prep zone and the cook zone. Now we are prepping. We have some celery over here. We have over here, interesting enough, guys, I've never um, used this before, but this is actually the greens from, anybody can guess what this is the greens from? They're not going to guess, can't they? You don't you know. You don't How know. How will they know what the, those are from? Some people are experts at these things. Like, what vegetable did this greens come from? They would not Troy know. Troy would know. If nobody else knows, Troy would know. Troy now nah, don't know. Mm -hmm. I promise you that. All right, Take a guess, get, try. We will get back to that. So we have that thing. And we have the Chinese cabbage, which I like because it's softer. And we have the baby bok choy. We have some okra. Yeah, and my okra is coming out of the freezer, guys. So them look like a freezer burn. Struggling like a yeah, bit. Yeah, they must struggle. But we'll work with them. We have a lone carrot. and Because I want carrot, my friend. <laughs> and we have... a. Uh, red bell pepper over there and then over here because we don't throw away anything we never throw away anything we have the we call it again stock the broccoli stem the stem the stem from the broccoli i'm gonna try to see if we can man, uh, manipulate it mm -hmm. the thing about the broccoli stem is that the outer part is very very tough mm -hmm. but the inner part is super soft so you're gonna want to peel away the outer part right That's your first job. We can do this easier by holding it up. So guys, don't come for me about the knife argument, please. <laughs> no, it's too tough. Me Official Jamia, good morning to you too, girl. Good morning. See, it's to tell them, say you're not afraid of no me. No boy. <laughs> no time. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Remember. 10.23 Eastern Standard Time. 
Mm-hmm. Do Jamaicans make centipedes stew? Um, what, wait, wait, what? Vincent Wilkinson, are you for real? Or this is a joke question? We don't no, deal we don't, in insects. We, we don't do anything with insects. <laughs> so. The Jamaican Centipede, culture. That's, that's a long, wormy looking thing? Yeah. No, we don't eat that. Decline. You had a cough. Um, nice looking colors. Centipede stew. Elton Austin, good morning to you. Good morning. Shall we start the, the ketchup debate early? Ah, no. No need for it this morning, Troy. I know when to to re, um just you know give in and know that it don't have a place. I don't think it has a place, right? Eh? No. Mm-mm. None at all. Once you say coconut, I don't think it has a place. So. And guys, this is not going to be uh, uh, one of them green curry stew. No, sorry. Not one of them regular curry stew. This is going to be a green curry stew. So it's not going to have the, the curry color that we're used to. Um, the reason why the curry has the color that we, we, we are used to is because of the addition of turmeric. All right? Turmeric. So we're not going to add the turmeric to, um, to, the, to the curry at this time particular stage mm -hmm. okay Vincent is asking if you are a chef well he is not a professional chef but he is my personal um amazing <laughs> <laughs> chef <laughs> yes I'm a foodie he's a foodie you so know. you know I get vexed when food finish <laughs> <laughs> passionate about food and knows his craft very knowledgeable about it and is uh, an amazing chef you guys Jeez, um, them accolades, the mind the knife cut me. And, and Ram, good morning to you. Jamaicans don't use entities. We run from them for real. <laughs> we bolt from them for real. We cook centipedes in the hills. Mm. Okay, wow. how do you Where eat are that? you from, first and Yeah, foremost. Vincent, where are you from? What's the, is that, I think that's the person from St. Kitts, no? I, I think, think it was. So. Yeah. But how do you eat it and with what? With bread. Next year, the belly non bread sandwich, lettuce leaf sandwich. Mm. Looking good so far. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, and the, the, the great up, greatest part of the, the cooking process is the preparation because the cooking is going to be one, two, three. And that's the thing I wanted you guys to understand about, you know, pre preparing your stuff. Take the time that is necessary to prepare your stuff to get the best value out of them, mm -hmm. you know. And then from there, it's pretty much a one, two, three, as, as the wifey rightly says. You know, the process of cooking is just, you know, preparing um, and then going ahead. All right. So some of these, some of these, you do them long. Some of these, you do them on the bias, depending on the, the taste that you're going for. Mm -hmm. You know. All right. So other than garlic, what kind of other fresh seasonings you're gonna put onion basically okay. you know and um and then, ginger yeah a, a little bit of ginger because of fish you know mm -hmm. and thing and thing and i'm using i'm using some of my my um pollock fillet that i have in the fridge and i use what i have guys i don't i don't go out of the way to go get um that's, ingredients yeah really that's a new thing that we've adopted we're trying to utilize what we have we're not trying to go shop every time we're doing breakfast live or any other cooking. Right, because the cooking thing expensive, you know. May I tell you the truth? The mm -hmm. cooking, the food budget plan is super duper expensive. When you stop and think, you spend two, three hundred dollars easily per month and just for the program. I'm not talking about regular food, you know, because we have we have Joshua in the house. Mm -hmm. And Joshua, Joshua want him like a lunch and all of them little like things there, you know. So yeah, it it, it, it adds up. It adds up. Mm -hmm. All right, and for this today's um demonstration, we're using some Grace coconut milk. Mm -hmm. So we're making green curry, guys. Green curry, and green curry is just insinuating that it's not yellow curry. It, the color is not necessarily bright green or shocking color green or anything of that nature. It's just curry without the, the yellow tinge. All right? So we don't add any type of turmeric to the curry at all. So is that unique to, like, Thai cooking or Thai, Indian Thai, use Thai, Thai, um, curry too? 
well, well, Indonesian, you know, um, Chinese, Hawaiian, all of them, Polynesian, all of them guys, they mess with um, coconut in, in their curry. Mm -hmm. And and so it's pretty much coming from that side. The Jamaicans really not do um, curry like that. The, the, most, the most that we do, I want to tell you, so the authentic Jamaican curry would be rundown. Mm -hmm. That's a curry, you know. You understand? Coconut milk, stewed down with ingredients and stuff. But we used to put a little mackerel in it and, you know. All right. So, guys, nobody guessed what these greens were. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what these greens were. These greens are the leaves from the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. So, we're making, we're using cauliflower leaves. We're not dash with nothing. nothing. You, you understand what I'm saying? Did I say it or did I not say it? We're not dashing, I mean, throwing away nothing. All right. So these are a little bit more rustic, so I'm going to cut them up. Mm. And we're just going to put everything in the pot and make it steam real quick in the coconut milk. These are the Napa cabbage, you know, Napa cabbage, Chinese style cabbage. And I'm just going <coughs> to boss it like so. And I want to. Oh, that's Napa cabbage? Eh? Yeah. I want to. I want to utilize that like so. All right. Yeah, as big as it can. Then we have some bok choy, as she said, baby bok choy. We're gonna use that as well. Super big. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me get over <laughs> into the kitchen part of it. Vincent is saying. So what about mangoes? Mangoes taste good. Um, I think Vincent need to understand. Say we not eat certain things. We do not eat certain things. Rodents and them something there now. <laughs> we right. ain't eating mangoes, Vincent. I don't I don't even know what the weirdest thing we eat. <clears throat> um may I even know. Jamaicans eat not the weird cocon. Mm-hmm. And goat head and yeah. all those things. Nappy cabbage. Put some shine of mine on the nappy cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> I think you miss a call in try. You need to go on somebody's comedy stage because you are a trip. I also eat horse, but I consume it raw for muscle growth. No, I'm not believing you, Vincent. You're going all the way up. Yeah, Vincent, yeah, pull with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah over it, Vincent. Stop mm -hmm. the idiot thing, Vincent. Yeah, we know so many I'm not as Vincent. You know how go to try? Goated soup, manish water is a bomb. All right. So look how I pull out my, my, my cutting board and now I'm not going to for work. Make the space. Oh, something. put this back over here. Mm -hmm. Over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I consume cabbage raw for gas. <laughs> <laughs> studying, Mako. It's studying. We have not seen you in a while, girl. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Cow tongue. Yeah, we do eat cow tongue for real. That's a really weird one. Cow tongue, yeah. Cow what's tongue. the weirdest thing? Uh, if you're Jamaican, what's the weirdest thing that you that you've had, or what, you, what that you feel Jamaicans have, have had? Mm-hmm. I think they're cooking rabbit in Jamaica now. They've always, I think, what? cooked rabbit. Mm. Not for my fish. Let me see if I can put this over here. Um, I'm going to go very, very quickly with some larries. Okay, the seasoning of the fish, guys. All right, and normally we would season and marinate the fish, but because it's a, it, it's a breakfast live and we're running, you know, a little bit run behind schedule, we just do it on spot. Yeah. So, guys, you can marinate your fish for a little bit, you know, as long as you want. We're doing some garlic powder. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is that the fish absorb seasonings easily. So very quickly, yeah. very quickly. And you know what, over the fish, fish is not something that you really super season. Mm 
This is a this is a winning ingredient. A winning Ooh, ingredient. More marinade. Your more is good. And you just simply, it's almost like a soya sauce or a Worcestershire sauce. And you just simply add some. Alright? Mm -hmm. And once you have done that, you're pretty much ready. Alright? Fish ready. It's a piece of leaf in it. Okay. So. Stinking too. <laughs> yeah, I think that's our weirdest fruit. And I'm, I'm pretty much starting, you know, see, so if you're gonna... All right, let's go around to the kitchen. I have some onions. Garlic. Put in my aromatics from early. Mm -hmm. And some ginger. Guys, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you are liking what's going on. If you're liking us stepping out the box, doing something different for breakfast, keeping away from the carbs, whatever you're, whatever you're liking, just hit that like button. And if you don't like it, still hit the like button. Remember, I'm telling you that. Now you just start putting your, your, your ingredients because you know, Celery. this is going to steam. All right, this is my, my cauliflower greens. Mm -hmm. Napa cabbage, that's a bell. And sometimes you have to just, you have to just change up the, the, the way in which we do things. Mm -hmm. You know, make it a little bit nice, make it a little bit, you know? You understand? You get me? Carrots. And the broccoli stems. It's literally creating a bit for the, for the fish to lie on. Baby bok choy. And my and my okras. Put on a fish fillet, and of course, this can be done with fresh fish too, you know, guys. This could have been done with fresh fish. So, are you saying this is soft fish, or this is no? What I mean fish? is like whole, whole fish rather. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh. Whole of fish. Mm. Looks good. I keep a little water. Mm -hmm. We cut that frying while going under the bottom. Mm -hmm. So it can start steam. Yes, we have a wok. We do have a wok. Now it's time for the coconut milk. Oh la la. Great. It's kind of rich though. Don't you think thyme would be good in it? Yeah, make a put some. Okay. Sprinkle some of this on the top. That's black pepper. 
By that time, you look struggling bad. For real? Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the container. Oh, yeah, that's my doing. Oh, are you mad at the container? Mm hmm. Uh, and, guys, again, there is no rules as to what to do for breakfast. There's really no rules. You know, you, you, you get up in the morning, nutrify your body. That's the most important thing. You know? Make sure say so you put stuff in your body to you make your body healthy. Mm -hmm. All right. John Doe, good morning. Good morning to you. Put a little herbs. This is Need a mix of well. herbs such as dill, dill basil. basil, oregano, parsley, yes. and all those and all things. These things. All right, so you have time to go show the people them your things. What do you really expect from this cuisine? Nourishment, <laughs> good taste. And um, I'm using cumin. This is important, guys. Cumin is, is part of what um, the, the, the Orient, uh, sorry, the Polynesian, you know, M Malaysian people use to make curry. And so cumin adds a whole host of flavor. All right, so get some cumin. Mm-hmm. All right, and of course, Old Bay. We always have to add a little Old Bay. Old Bay works great on any seafood, right? Mm -hmm. Where's the cover now, Lord? Help me find the cover underneath this place. No, it's not. It's there. Where is it? Let me get it. Oh, that looks so pretty. Mercy me. Oh, right, look, guys. It looks like something I keep. Thank you so much for all the good positive comments. Yeah? Right, done. And that, that is gonna just do its thing for a little while. And, all right. Now a lot of people may not know this, but I am one of those food enthusiast type of person that always I go out and above and beyond. To, you know, so Mr. Green curry, right? See what may I add now? Look on that spirulina powder, all right? And spirulina definitely, I'm gonna add the green, it most definitely gonna add the green, all right? So, I'm gonna just add a little bit of that to that. And by the time you say ooh that, it aga ready. By the time you say ooh that, it aga ready. See that? How that look, guys? How does that look? I do hope that you will like it. I do hope that you will like it. It's gonna be steaming while the wifey does her thing. All right, guys. You know we have to do our feature for the day. Our oh, one, two natural products are here for your satisfaction, guys. Yes. And this is our promise that you're going to get 100% organic, all natural products. Great for the hair and for the skin, right? Right. And we have here our gift package. Mm-hmm that you can order you still have time to order in order to get it in time for christmas if you are still thinking of something that you can give to your loved ones mm -hmm. try this, try this. i can't not shake <laughs> my body is shaking anyway all right guys so this is what the gift set is looking like and in addition to these three we will be adding a free gift for you guys but our three products are, yes, let me start with the very first one. Mm -hmm. Our Shine of Mine. It's a nourishing oil blend. And nourishing the hair and the scalp is super important. If you want to, you know, retain length and, you know, actually get some growth and get healthy hair, then this nourishing oil blend is amazing for your hair. It's necessary for um, purposes like hot oil treatments, for um, scalp 
soothing if you have dandruff problem if you have you know itchy scalp if you just want shine if you have problem retaining moisture in your hair if you're a big <laughs> then this will do it for you not to mention the fact that it is also great for the skin because of the fact that the products are the oils are all natural and it smells amazing because of the blend of essential oils that have that nice minty therapeutic vibe to them yeah this is shine of mine nourishing oil blend and all of these products you can get as a standalone if you order from our website you can order them as a gift set or individually and of course we have our premier product yes which is the most sought after product in our line the jamaican black castor oil guys i cannot stress enough how effective this oil is if you have never used an oil in your life you have to try jamaican black castor oil jamaican black castor oil in my estimation is the only oil on its own that can actually act as a moisturizer for your hair other oils you need to moisturize first then put the oil to seal in the moisture but this oil is actually moisturizing it is um thickening it is strengthening so if you have any problems with you know retaining your your length if you have shedding if you have balding any ear hair issues oh i think a normal ball like your ball for something <laughs> if you have hair loss then this is an amazing product for you right and it's a hundred percent natural no salt added no other oils added not even an essential oil for fragrance it is uh, what you see is what you get straight from the farm to the shelf our jamaican black castor oil yeah from the farm to the shelf. and our last and the baby of the the line is our one true natural castor oil mascara mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this product is amazing if you have any kind of loss with your brows your lashes falling out you know sometimes we do certain things as women especially to our ourselves and there is a you know a spin-off of that so adverse, sometimes oh uh, uh, yeah so we probably start to lose our lashes and our brows but this is known to restore you know any of those issues and it is amazing we've gotten rave reviews about the effectiveness of it it has a typical mascara one for easy application and it is great so if you guys are interested and i know you are because if you're not then all right i know you are so go to our website at www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash one true natural again www.etsy etsy dot com slash shop slash one true natural and follow us on instagram at one true natural and if you go to our bio or our profile page the link to shop is right there so you can just and it's in the description of this video and it's in the description of this video so you have no excuse you guys you missed it when i talk it's right there in the description all right so yeah one true natural Boom. And you guys, to support our Yardy Belly channel, we also have, let me show you my face. My face. I said, my face. Okay. Yeah. All right. And if you want to support Yardy Belly TV, you can also um, click that shop now link that is right below each and every video. And it has a whole host of apparels personality designed by Yardy Belly TV oh, yes. we have hoodies it's now you know cold season some people um, are in the colder areas even if you're not these um, hoodies are perfect they are nice quality you know not too um, thick they're a, a, you know a perfect fabric for any temperature you guys can check those out to joshua loves them if he was not in school i would make him model you know his um jamaican one 
um, they have amazing Jamaican inspired designs or the Yardy Belly logo design or the tagline design. We have a whole host of options. So check those out. We have um, t-shirts, tank tops, um, leggings, um, masks, you name it. We've we got, got it. <laughs> so check those out, right? And what else? Um, I don't know. Nothing else. <laughs> Um, so let me show you guys what the food is going. Oh, he said don't show yet. All right, let me share the website. All right, come show now. Really? Yeah. Okay. What am I showing go? The pot? Yeah, go over it. Okay. Ooh. Ba ba be ba. Ooh. What a stew. And it's ready to lock up, you know, really, you know. For real? Of course. Okay. So once the heat comes to the top, you know, the fish pretty much ready. Just a put in some. What about the fish sauce? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get you. And I put a pepper in there, you see that? Put That's a Jamaican pepper in it. You know, so guys, this is, a, sorry about the, the, the movements. This is the stew, guys. Yeah? And we, we're going to turn it off. going to turn it all the way down. You know, because it is ready. You know? And this can be had with, you know, any little thing. Try, add the butter, add the black pepper. I can put a little bit more black pepper. But yeah, man, the middle. Oh, what about, um, what do you mean? Paprika. No? No. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So just go away, bye. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna add, the last thing I'm gonna add is some of my squid brand fish sauce. And guys, let me tell you something about fish sauce. It smells bad. So smells like super bad. But it, it adds tons. Good. Yeah, put it. Tons it bad, of vibes. Like, me Trust me. Tons of vibes. Yeah. yeah. So, that's our, our thing this morning. I'm working at the present now. I'm going to be working on the, um, the play team. So give me a sec. I'm just gonna basically cut up some red peppers to add to the plate. I like my vegetables as fresh as it comes, guys. I, 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 if I never have to cook them some of the time, I may not cook it. I like coleslaw and them type of thing there, you know? But you know, when you do cook it, cook it in somewhat of a stewy type, you know, the stir fry process fast, Quick process is also very, very good, you know, but I, I just like my vegetables them and it helps a lot, especially in these times. The whole if a fake food not gonna make it, guys. I tell you that, you know. So what's the word for today? The word for today is coming from the book of Kings, where the prophet Elijah was sent by God to hide behind a um, hide away by a brook, by a little river. And the reason why he had to hide is because the king was looking for him to kill him. Why the king was looking for him to kill him was because he declared that there was not gonna be any rain because of how wicked the king was. He said no rain for a period of three years, guys. What am I saying this morning? I'm saying if you stand for what is right, sometimes people not gonna like it. And if people not like it, they're not gonna do you something. So sometimes you have to get away from around people, around the crowd. You know? Stand for what is right, but don't stick around where evil prevails. Sometimes you have to just keep away from the crowd. 
you know. While he was away, he was growing with God, learning how to be a man, you know. And doing the best he can. Sometimes we are too much in the crowd and too much in, in, in the happenings. We are going and everybody mix up and blend that thing. Sometimes you need to step away and be alone by yourself. This Christmas coming up, guys, I want to now realize this. Some things are happening under the quiet. Don't follow the hype. Don't run into the hype, the things that are popular and the things that, you know, everybody into. Stay by yourself. Don't, don't be the first in line to get anything, to take anything, to give anything. You know, sometimes you have to stay on one side and, 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 and you know, just pre you are going, just pre the happenings. You see me? God put Elijah over and away from the crowd. And while he was away from the crowd, him sent a raven to feed him. May I show you something? God can use the dirtiest, the most vilest, the most terrible of persons to come be a blessing to you. Remember now, as a Jew, as a prophet, Elijah is not supposed to mix with any animal where we hang around dead body. Raven would be another term for like a John Crow, a Jamaican vulture, a vulture. Raven eat dead things. And raven don't eat, even eat dead things alone. They eat dead things that are rattling. And God carry Elijah by a brook. And he said, drink the water from the brook. And he said, I have commanded the John Crow to come and feed you. Sometimes we want the best from the best people. Sometimes we're looking for our blessing from a person who we are impressed by. Who we all in high esteem. A time is going to come when things get so tight and so rough by you. That is the person who you detest the most. That God is going to say, carry the money and go over there so God is sent to it. And you have to be willing to accept it. You have to be humble enough to accept it. Some of us are too high. And too popular, too much in the crowd, in the limelight. Some of us need to be hidden away. That's that's we can learn to depend on God and trust God and look to God for everything. This morning, that's the word. Some of us just need to come down from that, you know, prominence. I'm not saying give up who you are. I'm saying just always have a time of reflection. Always have a time when you are away in God, with God. You know them really. I'm a few words that when you say see, how that sound to you? Sounds good. Yeah, anything to add to it? Or take away from it? Mm -hmm. I totally agree and endorse it. You totally agree and endorse it. Hallelujah. Alright, may I say make you share that who they are now because I, I tell you. Wait. This is a this is a big plate of food you know. This I gotta go. Somebody said we could have served this with rice, you know. Of course. Mm -hmm. Somebody said we could have served it with some rice. Hallelujah. I don't want to see the plate, guys. If I make a mistake, I have to fix it. Right, Chi? No, I don't agree with that. You don't agree? No. Are you serious? All right, so because of how I cut the, 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 the meat, them, the, the vegetables, I have to use this to scoop it up first. I'm just scooping up a a bunch of vegetables make a little mound with some some nice it is wow that's true i look good see this too look good wow May I come here, guys? I'm coming. I'm coming. Just hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. What else you need? See? What else we need in, in terms of vegetables? 
<laughs> My girls are everything in the pot. <laughs> all right, and then we just take up. All right, see, so you can you can do that now and come come help me. Let me let the people them see. And you just take up a, a nice fish fillet, and you put it on the top like such. And you take your coconut. And guys, let me tell you something. This is way hundred percent how it is eaten over so. I promise you. See, don't see. Mm. When you see Mark Wins, them and them people that you know me I mean for call people name, but I saw them eat it. Look on that. Look how that look. Mm. No need no more. More carrots. More carrots. The hard to cut paper. <laughs> How this look, guys? Wait, let me move this and and, and. move this. This and... look delicious, Trust me. Oh, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what? Oh my God, what? Capers. Didn't lie, just said put some capers in your <laughs> <that's laughs> <that's laughs> Jesus, please. <laughs> I'm nearly dropped out on it. No, man. Just to put some capers, baby. Oh, my God. What missing? Lord Jesus, help me. The capers are missing. Why? Jesus, please. No, sir. That's why it looks like it should be eaten. But hey, you know what? It's what a good way good, a good way to, guys. Some steam bombing. If it yeah. Why never make me show some steam bombing or that? Sure. I mean, sure, some bummy that for steam with it. You can't find the capers. I don't know. Oh, my kind. I mean, no, it's there, you know. Great visuals on the finished plate. Wait, baby, can you give me, yeah, space so I can come around? Put it. You know, this kitchen big, but it little. You know that, see? That, but it very little. You know what it is? Eh? <laughs> uh, it's, uh... And capers, capers is like a, a little plant. It's the flower of a plant, of the caper plant, a joke. <laughs> you have to strategically put them things. They, we have to strategically put them, they are dropping at the, in at the, the, the juice. They're dropping down into the juice, baby. Right over there. No more. No more. So babes, mm. how the bummy argument have gone now? Because I'm really and truly interested. Um, because I can always put some bummy in this and make it go on steam. You know? Yeah, but then isn't the fish going to overcook? No, no business with that. I'm going to eat Oh, Yeah, you can do that. Slice up. We have two bummies in there, so. In where? So? In there, so. Alright, so where's all this? Because I'm the one that knows where everything is. Yeah, because you're the kitchen organizer, important person. Now. So, guys, I'm telling you something. Well, yeah, the, the camera is moving, moving up and down because we have, we have to do all sorts of something at the same time. We don't get the crew yet. When we get the yeah, camera. when we get the full crew, we, you know, we have a, a production manager and all of that, we will we'll let you guys know. You know, until then, just work with it. This look good, guys. It look good. And I think it's, it's very healthy. The bummy will go on steaming <laughs> until then. <laughs> Margaret will be full. Yes, sir. So, guys, this is our presentation for today. For yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And again, you can serve this with woolly pasta. Yeah. It's like a steam fish. Filet in a green coconut curry sauce. Well, this look. Thank you so much, you, um, Luton uh, Vlogs. Luton Bar Vlogs, thank you so much. Guys, 
Now this is the time when you're gonna decide how much it is worth by, by way of super chat. <laughs> yes, that's the time of this the day. This is the time of the day when you decide how much would you pay for this meal by way of super chat. Remember, it comes with bami on the side. You can get the bami steamed, roast, or fry. <laughs> yes, you look on that. Jeez, um, please. Mm -mm. It look good in a baby. It look real good. No, sir. I'm comfortable with it. And let me see what the wife had over here, sir. Eh? <laughs> see, see, see the cutting word here? Oh. Uh, you gotta cut, like. You cut them into strips? Thing. Yeah, strips. You want me to cut it for you? No, I'm strong. But I'm, I'm, a good, I'm a good husband. I want to cut it. But I'm strong. I want to cut it. I said, oh, she do not want me to do nothing. Why well, didn't really? I had forgotten. Sister J. All right. Normally, when you're doing bami, right, you want to soak, soak your bami. Even when you're steaming it? Well, I mean, we're steaming it now, so, you know. But no, I'm saying, do you normally pre soak it if it's no, being steamed? No. And bami is pretty much um, Jamaica, it's a, it's a cassava cake. All right. So, pretty much what she do is just add our bami now, and then you just cover it and make the bami just soak up all I'm of that doing goodness. One. Yeah, we don't need no more one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that. 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 I'm just covering now. I'm making just stay there and just permutate. That's my new word, guys. Yeah, permutate is a new word that I invented. If you're not, um, if you're not, no, if you don't know these new words, you have to ask me what they mean. Permutate is my new word, okay? So I'm just letting you guys know. All right? So. But yeah, and, and you could do some rice, you know, you hey, could do... This would have shell on the face with rice, you know? You know where they're nice with? Some fluxy, some fluxy white dumpling. Cheese yeah, and or cream! Or tongue meal. Ooh, hmm? Or tongue meal. Guys, what would you have this with? Grips. Yeah, I would eat the grips. It could work a grips. It would probably be a last resort. These peppers are so good, they're so nice. Mm-hmm. 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 Babes, you have to taste something for the camera style. Why? Because that's your duty, that's your job. Thank you so much, Sister J. Sister J uh, Cuisine. And Sister J, let me know if you have a restaurant, if you have a store, what do you do? You know, let us know because we need to promote it. Anybody who give a little super chat, we'll promote them. You understand? We'll help those who help we. Remember. You see me? Mm hmm And that means that. Don't it, baby? Same so. Same way so. Mm -hmm. All right, so I put together my wife like a tasting plate. Just a nice little servings of the vegetables and a little bit of the meat. You know, just for her to taste and tell me if it's looking, if it's going good or not. All right, there you go, baby. Why the fish so small? But see, uh, you didn't even fish it for long. Guys, tell me, isn't the fish too small? Let me do it, babes. Wait, wait, she gone, she gone, she gone. Oh, guys, let me just show you know, the original dish. Mm -hmm. How do I taste it, though? The original oh, dish is right yeah. here. Yeah. Um, are you ready? Father, we pray your blessing over this meal. Bless the hands that prepared it. Continue to provide for every need. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Ooh, la la. Man, if you're born here, if you're born here, you're going to go to the hospital. The baby bath joy. It's super hot now. Okay, so Sister J Jamaican and Caribbean Cuisine has a YouTube channel, guys. 
and I would love it if you would all subscribe to her um, because guess what? It is good that we can support each other and definitely, definitely, you're going to know that Yada Belly TV, subscribe to Sister J, um, you know? So go over there and do that. Oh, it is, babes. <laughs> no, man, she not talk. I refuse to believe that you're not gonna open a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. This is too good. <laughs> She's um, perfectly flavored, guys. It could take, and I'm not a pepper lover, but it could take a little bit more pepper. Yeah? Carrie mm -hmm. said, permit it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm gonna leave mine till later and eat it with rice. Yeah, yeah, no. She's going she to leave here one till later and eat it with rice. There's no reason to leave all of these juices. Just, mm -mm, this need for <laughs> Try to see crushed red peppers. <laughs> Can't want more pepper. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, sir. I will cook it. Would I super chat it? Went to the now just for this food. Where? Oh, oh. Super chatted. No. I don't want none. I don't want to spoil up my mouth. I don't want to spoil up my mouth. Why would this be one thing? Anyway, where is my breakfast now? I'm ready. Joshua don't like fish, you know, but I'm sure he's going to love this. You know, see him typing hello already. Josh, you're going to love this one. Guys, she has devoured the plate. I did not even know what the plate is. Try to 15 or 18 dollars for the plates. Guys, this is our offering for today. Once again, mm -hmm. it is a delicious uh, piece of fish fillet mm -hmm. in a coconut curry sauce, like a green curry sauce. Mm -hmm. Joshua, there's no bones, Joshua. Zero bones. Hearing about if there's bones, yes or no? No. And guys, let me tell you what could I go in other sauce here. Some shrimp. Jeez. Um, see, put two shrimp in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this you are what you eat. And this is beautiful. You can all you need now is a ginger beer. Try. <gasps> try. Listen. Try. Stop in Vigler. Try. Glory. That never tell you. Stop in Vigler. Glory. Try a try is a, is a drought artist. You understand? Stop drawer out. You see me? Stop in Vigilar. <laughs> Shrimp is going in my pasta. <laughs> uh, it's, uh... But yeah, man. Hey, that food is good. It's good? Very you good. like it? I give that a 10 out of 10. Wow. Wow. Well, shut my mouth. <laughs> well, uh... Don't forget the ginger beer. <laughs> <laughs> try and you no know, try. Listen, let me tell you something. Oh, let me tell you what could I go in it. Honest to, to goodness, what could I go in it as a Jamaican thing? Well, mm, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> people, let me tell you, not only know say somebody craving in here and love crackers. <laughs> May I show you, only know say somebody craving. Watch ya. Look at this, guys. One whole container of crackers. Watch ya. <laughs> Look at, Look what is going on here, sir. See this now? No, you need it on It no, can't go up on it. Oh. It can't go up on it, man. Okay. Look on that, guys. Look there. Cheese and peas! Remember me tell you. No, sir. I would have got that. I would have got that. Try to definitely make the rice. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> no, I'm telling you guys, it's such a pleasure to be here this morning. You know, to share what I love to do, both the word and the cooking, mm -hmm. and the joking. Mhm, mm and the joking. Everything yeah. in one stuff. Try said twenty dollar plate with the bami and the ginger beer. Yeah. Easy, easy. Cooking with. Theater and vlogs, big up yourself. Good morning to you. And how do you do? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. <laughs> uh, Anne's cooking and more says, Can I have some? 
Enram said the, the crackers, the, too much money or the crackers too much? Tell me, tell me, Emma. Mm, mm -hmm. I don't want the crackers. In. The, the crackers are get rise or something now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The crackers are get a rise in? You just drop the price when you add the crackers. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I wouldn't eat it, but just for the, the whole presentation. Mm-mm. Let's it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Give me the last one. Leave the crackers. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Anne. <laughs> Anne said, Leave the crackers. Don't dash for the crackers. Leave the crackers. <laughs> the crackers they look lonely. Nah, I lie. <laughs> Mm. Mm -mm. You have to get that one cracker job. But guys, sorry for eating at all. The crackers have a place. It have a little buzz with it. The crackers are carried a little bit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. The time is up. It's been a pleasure. We are going to make it happen again. Pretty soon. And semi jealous bad. <laughs> <laughs> and my tell you said the food is good, so good. And it's been an hour. So we want to thank you guys. So and listen, this morning one of my viewers sent me a a, a, a video of what something that she wants me to make. And the way I'm gonna feel about it. If I could have make it this evening, I would have make it this evening. So keep your notification bells wrong because guess what? Yadda Belly TV might just go live this evening. That's how I feel about it. That's how I feel about it. Try, it's not been 30 minutes, try. I can see the time. I can see by the clock on the wall. Mm -hmm. But trust me, it's been such a pleasure. And the, the, the you know what I said? The, the fish sauce don't smell at all, babe. No, not, not at all. Mm -mm. The fish sauce don't smell at all. Fish sauce don't smell at all. Wow. Wow, the bummy them almost ready. For real? Yeah, for real, for real. The bummy them tender. Just up me. Mm How do I, how do I, how did I get into a cooking video at the age of 12? <laughs> Julian, good evening to you. That's it. <laughs> I have schoolwork to be doing. <laughs> Hi, sir. So. Julian. Hi, Julian. Welcome. I'm going to call your teachers and tell them, say, you're watching cooking video instead of doing your work. <laughs> but guys, this is our beautiful fish filet in green curry sauce yeah with vegetables and it's served with a beautiful and spicy jamaican ginger beer and guys this is playing on um thai cuisine malaysian cuisine and this is how they serve it pretty much just like this with a little bit of rice cake or a little bit of um um, um what do you call it sambal they serve it with something on the side, just like this. And it's almost like a stew. And that's how it is delivered. Guys, you got to just turn your hands to make fashion like we say in Jamaica. You know, use what you have in your local neighborhood, in your fridge, to make something beautiful. We are not going out and above and beyond to make it happen. We're just utilizing the stuff that we have at home. So, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. It's been our pleasure to have you on this morning. And as usual, we thank God for each and every one of you. Father, we pray that you just cover my viewers, every single person who is watching me now. I pray that you bless them, bless their homes, bless their families, bless everything that they touch. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We pray for people's families. We pray for people's relationships. We pray for people's finances. We pray, Lord God, that you just, just, just help each and every person to reach to that place where they can say, it is God who has helped me. We bless your name this morning. We pray that everybody has a Merry Christmas. If you don't see me on, on Tuesday, listen, we're going to go live on Tuesday. We have some crazy, crazy lives going on now. 
So we're going live Tuesday. We might go live later on or tomorrow. I, I just, keep, just, just keep the bell ring. Because as the ideas come, I'm throwing them out there. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Tell somebody about Yada Belly TV. Tell them it's crazy around here. And we thank you on behalf of the wifey and the son and everybody. We thank you. Have yourself an awesome day. Ah, peace. And remember, live and laugh. Cook and eat. Cook and eat. What am I say? Live and laugh. Cook and eat. Hey, I miss a cook and miss a eat. I miss a cook and miss a eat. eat. Miss a big cook and miss a eat. Eat. Miss a big cook and miss a eat. Cook up the food and eat it enough. And, and then you laugh because the joke enough. And the place nice and spice and right and mind the knife and. <laughs> oh my god we need help around here guys be blessed all right much love and respect on behalf of the wife eh? be blessed don't be stressed and remember a marital mile is coming out soon <laughs> remember me tell you